Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to talk about something that's kind of surprising, a surprising PC port that's available for free of a pretty iconic game and a game that some of you guys might remember, but it was a really, really, I don't want to, maybe saying revolutionary was a little, uh, is a little bit too much, but, uh, it was a game that definitely set a standard for technical, uh, achievements on a mobile device, and now it's available on PC, and I know, the idea of a mobile game, uh, what's there to be excited about, but this is one I think you guys should know about. On top of that, want to highlight Green Man Gaming and some good deals from our friends over there, so we'll talk that in a little bit but first of all infinity blade a pc port for the game is available now if you don't know infinity blade was a mobile game done by chair entertainment and epic games i know people don't love epic games these days but it was a really really cool game that uh it pushed the technical achievements of a mobile device to say the least it was pretty incredible from a technical standpoint and uh, it was remarkable in a lot of ways. It was available for iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, 4S, 5, like that era of iPhones. And I want to say it came out back in 2010. Uh, yeah, December of 2010. So think about December of 2010 when we talk about mobile gaming. You're talking about, you know, the PSP still being at the heart of its life cycle. I don't think the 3DS was out at that point. I think the 3DS came out in 2011. Um, yeah, February of 2011 and then March of 2011. 2011 over here stateside so you're talking about infinity blade coming out even before the 3ds so the portable gaming landscape at that point was the psp and the psp certainly did push out some games with remarkable visuals like look at a crisis core and that game's cutscenes but as far as a mobile game and the game you know outside of cutscenes infinity blade was uh one of one in terms of its technical achievements and it was remarkable at that time and now a pc port's available for free enter the world of infinity blade take up the ancestral sword of your forefathers to fight foes threatening to destroy your homes as a heroic knight you rise up against the sinister godkin uh, god king and brutish titans epic boss battles and dazzling weapons and armor all await you in a thrilling ios gaming experience that's noted on the official page the game notes simple nav uh, navigation you can easily navigate the uh, game allowing you to effortlessly navigate the castle realm in your pursuit of riches and notoriety character customization through upgrading items and increasing skills you can make truly uh, your knight your own skills include strength speed protection and magic find the right balance it can meet the, uh, mean the difference between fighting another day and falling against the god king dozens of items weapons helms swords and armors as well as the much sought after achievements await you as you battle your foes through the keep imaginative and powerful powerful bosses as you match up against insidious foes keep in mind that no two are alike each boss features unique abilities and gets harder to beat as the story progresses and on top of that a decent bit of content i don't know if the deathless king is included in this the deathless king was like an expansion for the game um so it was a free update for the game i should say it included a new dungeon new enemies and uh, new items and achievements as well but it's available for free over at rk uh, archive.org i'll leave it uh, i'll leave a link in the description description box below a full port of infinity blade one on pc only functional on windows no other platform this port features upgraded textures graphics and various optimizations for pc such as keybinds audio sliders and file management enjoy infinity blade 14 years after it first came out the source code has been publicly available for over 10 years now the game has been made impossible to officially obtain for five to six years yeah you can't actually buy the game anymore we have never shared or redistributed the source code just the cooked files which is hardly more than what was already available Available with iOS. And this is done for the sake of lost media uh, preservation. Credit is given to the rightful authors. We take no credit and gain nothing from doing this. It's available totally for free, so go check it out. They also did note that uh, Infinity Blade 2 or Infinity Blade 3, that's probably not going to be happening, which is a little bit of a bummer given that those games were uh, pretty tremendous as well. Um, but yeah, what can you do? It's available free, and I'm sure there was a lot of legwork that needed to be done uh, to get these games done. But, you know, it is a little bit of a bummer. Infinity Blade is going to be one of those forgotten IPs, man. I, I loved Infinity Blade back in the day, and I remember that this was a game that made me really want to get into mobile gaming. It was like this, and then there was that Spider-Man game that was, like, really good. What was it called? Spider-Man Total Mayhem, I think it was. To Spider-Man uh, Total Mayhem was awesome, and that game came out back in September of 2010 as well. Uh, no slouch 
was Spider-Man, Total Mayhem, and Infinity Blade. There were some solid mobile games back in the day. Remember the Street Fighter, uh, like, uh, iPhone port as well? The, the Street Fighter 4 iPhone port was pretty solid as well, from my recollection. But nonetheless, there you go with that. Go check out Infinity Blade, available totally for free, and I'd recommend you to check that out. Moving on from that, I do want to highlight a couple of deals available at our good friends at Green Man Gaming. Pacific Drive is officially out today, and the standard price is 10% off for $27. You can use the code FEB17, save even more. And if you're an XP member, you get the game even cheaper. And it's like a really, really solid deal for XP members. Let me pull up the XP price right now because I have the regular price pulled up. For the XP member price, it's 28% off for $21.59. So over $8 off from its regular price of $30. That's a ridiculous, ridiculous offer. Uh, given the, uh, that the game just came out and $30 was supposed to be the standard price, $22. Less than that, in fact, uh, is a really, really good pickup. And definitely go check that out. A really interesting driving survival game. A lot of interesting mechanics as well as far as customizability of your car and your garage. A game to check out there and a good discount at GMG. Then I also do want to note the Tomb Raider Definitive Survivor Trilogy is 74% off for $12.87. That is just a tremendous deal. Getting you Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Just excellent, excellent deals there that I would strongly recommend recommend uh, just great deals all around for three excellent action adventure games the Tomb Raider games since the 2313 uh, reboot have been my cup of tea and they're games that are generally just very, very well done. Tomb Raider 2013 is a little bit on the shorter side, so keep that in mind. But Rise of the Tomb Raider expands the game quite a bit. And Shadow of the Tomb Raider is quite good as well. So definitely worthwhile to check that out. SOTR uh, is a really good game from a gameplay standpoint, but it does lack a little bit uh, in its narrative. But definitely worthwhile to play that as well. And then lastly, obviously, a video wouldn't be complete without shilling the biggest game on the market right now in Helldivers 2. Use the code FEBC. 17 and you'll get it a little bit cheaper for like $33 and change. Uh, Helldivers 2 just taking the world by storm. Obviously, there are a lot of server issues, but things are getting better and better. They just added an AFK timer with the latest patch as well, so that's great. But uh, 33 and change for the game is great, and you can get the Super Citizen Edition. You can once again use the code FEB17, and you'll get it for $49 and change, which is a pretty good deal given that you get the Steeled Veterans War Bond and a bunch of in-game items as well. Game is great when it works perfectly, and uh, uh, you know, for the most part, it does work really well. I know people have had varying experiences about getting into the servers, but uh, it hasn't been too difficult for me. And I'll, I'm playing it with a lot of my friends, so I haven't had, like, matchmaking issues or anything like that. So I always have a squad of people to play with. But nonetheless, if you do want to get it a little bit cheaper, that option is there for you as well. But that's going to do it for me. Again, Infinity Blade, a free PC port of that is out. Go check that out. That game is a sleeper that not a lot of people talk about. There's no real reason to talk about a mobile game that had its heyday, you know, almost a decade ago. Go. But nonetheless, Infinity Blade certainly worth checking out, especially for free. Pacific Drive, Tomb Raider Definitive Survival Tri uh, Survivor Trilogy, and Helldivers 2. Good deals on all of those, and links in the description box below. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.